All right, good afternoon, everybody. Good to see you all here. Great to see you all again, and uh, had a real exciting training camp. A lot of great energy. Really appreciate the fans coming out and uh, supporting the team as always, and we feel really good about the direction of the team and our leadership, and great to see the young guys out here. They're stepping up as well, so um, before I open up to really any questions, um, I want to make you all aware that we're going to be uh, recognizing Bud Grant throughout the 2023 season. Uh, as I said at the time, we lost Bud earlier this year. Uh, no single individual more defined Minnesota sports and the Minnesota Vikings brand than Coach Grant. And it's impossible to describe the impact that he's had on the Vikings and the community. And I know as owners, we cherished uh, the nearly 18 years with Bud. We got to know him on a personal level, and it was a tre tremendous loss for the organization and, of course, the entire state of Minnesota. And as an organization, we want to find meaningful ways to honor Bud, both at the time of his passing and throughout this season, and really allow our fans to be involved and um, because of the relationship that Bud had, had with the fans. So uh, a couple elements we're going to be introducing. We intend to wear... Um, patches with Bud's iconic signature on our classic uniforms for the season opener at U.S. Bank Stadium on September 10th, just a few weeks away. Uh, it's fitting to do so when the entire game will be honoring uh, those great teams of the 60s and 70s. Uh, we also plan to be wearing helmet stickers throughout the entire 23 season to continue honoring Bud. And we're going to announce additional fan elements of the home opener that will pay tribute to Bud as we get closer to the game itself. But we wanted to put this on uh, people's radar now. And with that, I'll be happy to take your questions. Is that possible, Mark, as far as at, you know, outside the stadium or something like that, a statue of Bud Grant? Uh, I haven't thought through that element. I know we have, uh, we, we were fortunate to have Bud celebrate him and have Bud Grant way right there by the stadium. But uh, certainly we're always thinking of ways to honor not just Bud, but all our great history, all our great alumni, and Coach Grant certainly represents that. So certainly we'll be uh, thinking of all those kind of things. Yeah, we, well, the fans love it. Uh, we want to honor our history. I know our entire staff and team uh, worked hard with the league and with the the apparel to make sure that we, we got that out there. So I'm excited to see the fans' reaction. We see them in the crowd a lot, and so it'll be great to see our players wearing that on opening day. Are you planning to use the classic uniforms before Bud died, or was that something that Bud's death kind of spurred the idea? It, it was in the planning, but I think it's uh, certainly um, very fitting that we honor Bud along with the introduction of the uniform because it all, uh, it all goes hand in hand in honoring and celebrating our great history and tradition. So it'll be a special night. Well, certainly very exciting. We, you know, traditionally have always had high expectations, but I can tell you we remain really confident in our leadership here. Coach O'Connell and Quasey have really set a great culture here, and we're fully supportive of it and exciting to see how now in the second season it's really taken hold here and the players have taken it on, and I think there's a great energy about us. And like I said, a lot of young players to see them taking big roles and um, a, a lot of great developments. Coach Flores is coming in on defense. So there's a lot of great elements, great culture here that's setting in, and we as ownership are fully supportive of it and really excited for a great season ahead. But again, day by day, and we've got a night practice tonight, and we'll just do it one step at a time and follow Coach O'Connell's lead. Elaborate on some conversations that you had with Bud Grant before he passed about how encouraged he is with this, uh, the management that you guys have now and Kevin O'Connell and everybody else. Well, he had such great wisdom and experience and just telling us some of the, the history and some of the stories. And, you know, it wasn't always about football with him. It was a lot of life stories and about leading and just the way he carried himself in a very, um, you know, quiet way, but a lot, lot, a lot of wisdom there. Great family man. And he loved the Minnesota Vikings. He was always here as a support. And I think we were just blessed to have him be in our building 
uh, really till the till the till the end. I mean, he was here. I know Coach O'Connell. All the coaches we've had here have benefited from having him around the building, and you can feel the void in the building when he's not here. And uh, I know I know he's missed all around, but as ownership, he was so supportive of us. Uh, always gave us advice when needed to on how to deal with and explain the relationships with the alumni and some of the stories and, and learning some of the, the the richness of the history here and 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 how great the people are that help build this team and organization. What do you think September 10th will be like with, uh, you know, obviously you're getting to honor him, but knowing he's not there? Well, opening game is always a special, special day in the NFL, and Coach Grant, of course, is iconic in Minnesota. So all of those elements, the classic uniform, uh, we, had a, we had a lovely tributes to him uh, in the spring, but now come football season, we're going to especially remember Coach Grant because that, that was his time, and that's how everyone in the fans – and the league remember him over the years. So it should be a great, great, exciting day for the fans and for the community. You talked about what happened in the spring at the public service. It was more of a celebration. It was, it was funny. It was joyful. How important was it for you to bring that element forward? Well, we've always been so, so privileged. We, like I say, we always view ourselves as stewards of a great organization. And it's a great organization because of history. And history doesn't just happen. It's people. And people like Bud Grant and all the, the hundreds of players that, that really played for him, they truly loved him as a coach and as a human being. So it was a celebration. It was a rich, full life. His family so, all spoke so beautifully. And just all the people that around him, there's a great love here. And that's what, what builds great organizations. And we're, we're just fortunate to be here for the last 18 years to be a little part of that. 18, I believe now. It's our 19th season 19th coming season. up. Yeah. Um, you certainly have tried to put together a championship team. That's not been a problem. But is there any more feeling of pressure is not the, the right word, but immediacy to, to bring that first Super Bowl title to the state and this franchise? As we've said from day one, it's always been our ultimate goal is to bring Super Bowl championships to Minnesota. So as ownership, we're, our obligation is to make sure to provide the resources have the leadership here to help make that happen. So we feel real good about that. We feel we're in a good direction. So that's how we're approaching. We have high expectations as always. And uh, we love the direction of this team. What can this coach and GM possibly do in your mind that the previous regimes didn't get done? Like, where does this take it with Quazy and Kevin compared to the previous regimes? Well, again, it starts with one practice at a time. I don't have to tell you that. But... Our expectations is to win divisions, and from winning divisions, winning championships. And I think we're well set up to, to, to make, make a great, great steps in that direction this year and uh, hopefully get that done. And again, we have tremendous confidence in our leadership. And I think, like any team, uh, that's a big part of it. And of course, our players. We have great veteran leadership, great uh, new young blood here to help make this team coalesce in a way that's going to really work out. Well, we feel great about the quarterback situation. Kirk's an outstanding leader. Um, he's led this team uh, in incredibly these past few years, and uh, we're looking for great things for him in 2023. And um, I know there's discussions all the time on all these topics, especially quarterback. And I know Quasey and Coach are, are always uh, communicating with, with Kirk and everybody, but uh, we're real happy to have him uh, lead our team. Well, again, we're, we're just, we'll leave that to Quasey and Coach to work through those discussions. There's always conversations on that, but our real focus is 100% on 2023 and uh, getting where we need to be and where I know we can be. Quasey's talked a lot about the competitive rebuild and their, their approach. So what has your perspective been on, on that strategy and the way they've tried to retool the roster? We're supportive of it. I mean, you have to work within... All the, all the parameters you have in the NFL, you have salary cap, you have great players here. We have players that have moved on that we really appreciate. We've also had brought in new players that are going to make a big addition to our team. And so, uh, like I said, as ownership, we have great support of Coach and Quasi and how they're building this thing. And, uh, and the culture is very important, too. And, and that's really, you can really feel that here. And I think the players will tell you that as well.
How, how much has that changed in, in the last year plus since Kevin and Kwesi came here as far as that culture goes and the feeling with, within the building, not just with the players, but the employees as well? It's throughout the whole building, and I can tell you, you felt a little bit of it last year, but I, this year it's just taken to another level because the players have really embraced it. It's really setting in and now having a full year under their belt. The systems are similar. The feeling and the culture has been repeated, so uh, it's really taking off in a good way, and I can't wait for the season to get started. What's it been like to see Justin Jefferson continue to emerge? Now he's you know, one of the faces of the league, uh, the play, play flag ambassador. Um, just, just seeing him continue to grow but still handle his, his responsibilities for the Vikings. Justin Jefferson is, of course, a special player and uh, one of the most special players we've had here. Uh, but just as important, he's a special person. Uh, he's really taken on in his role as being one of the leaders of this, of this club. And uh, we, we're excited for the future with Justin Jefferson. So uh, uh, I think any, any team would, would say that. And certainly we're very happy to be the ones that, that have him on our roster. So uh, it's great, great, great to have him around. Mark, how important, uh, speaking of Justin, is it to get him signed with him being eligible for an extension here long term? And because it's just going to be probably a complicated contract, I, I know that you guys probably don't often get involved in contracts, but is this one where there would be some involvement given the magnitude of what, could it, what it could be? I, I think that's fair to say. And, we, do, we you know, certainly Kwesi and Rob Brzezinski and Coach, uh, everyone's working together on the contract, but we're certainly aware of it at the magnitude of this one. And in general, we're, we're certainly aware, certainly involved. And uh, Justin Jefferson, uh, we want him to, to stay as a Minnesota Viking.